He does a lot of things well, but is there any concern with his size as a safety if you have like a six foot six tight end matched up against him? Well, if it's a concern anybody anytime to have tight end six six, <laughs> you know, whether him or anyone else. You know, but we have we have other things that we can do. You know, I'm not concerned about Bobby and his height and his size. He plays big, he plays fast, he's smart. He understands situational football, so he knows how to position himself if he finds himself in, in a matchup like that. So I'm not concerned about that. And do you want Rashad and TJ to be equally skilled at both strong and free so you can be versatile? We want them all multiple. to be we want them all to be strong and skilled, you know, um, to play strong, free, inside, outside. Um, and they want to, we want to know what the linebackers are doing. We want to know what the linemen are doing. Uh, we want to know all the positions, all the techniques, all the communication, so we can be multiple in things that we do. I know it's team first here. You have to leave e uh, e ego at the door, as Brian said. But sure. did you have to talk to TJ and Rashad initially at the start of camp saying, hey, look, if you're not with, in with the first team, don't be bent out of shape by it? Well, coaches set the tone. Um, for our organization when we got here and, and all of our guys have, have bought into that um, they always know that that team is first you know he set the tone from from day one so didn't have to say much those guys knew those are those guys are professionals um, they've been in the league a long time they, they know exactly how it goes um, they know how we rotate anyway you know so there's there's not a lot of conversation with that but they, they've done a good job with with handling it and it's no concern where have you seen the uh, biggest growth from Minka um, from last year uh, was Harris grown a little bit, then he cut that. Um, other than that, he's, he's learning the game. Yeah. All right. Um, when, you, when guys first come out, they kind of just get out there and they're just concerned with getting lined up. Lined up. Uh, right now, he's understanding the game, situation of football, you know, what's the difference between first down and third down, what's the difference between third and two and third and eight, uh, what's the difference between uh, uh, end, of the, end of the half, two minutes, as opposed to end of the game, two minutes. So a situational awareness, uh, understanding formation, um, understanding the personnel that the offense has in the game, so little things like that that all our guys are growing with. But since you asked about him in particular, that's one of his biggest growths right there. Now the defensive back responsibilities have been split up, obviously, mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. How are the meetings? Do you and Josh meet collectively with all the defensive backs, or are safeties in one room, corners in another? Well, we, we do it all. Sometimes, as an entire defense, we meet together. Sometimes we he may take one group of guys, I may take another group of guys. The one thing that Coach Flo and those guys have been, been doing a good job of is that we're not necessarily coaching a position, you may be coaching a technique. So it could be anybody in your room. Um, we want to be able to go down, if something happened, Coach Hobby or Coach Hobby is going over, our D-line coaches talking defensive ends, I need to know what defensive tackles are doing. You know, so it's just, it's, if we talk the same language and we know the same things, it doesn't matter who's in the room. So we split it up all the time and, you know, it's all hands on decks in regards to that. And on the occasion where the safeties and corners might be in different meetings, which one does Minka attempt? Uh, it could be either one, depending on the day. What's the day? What's the day, Thursday? It's Thursday. All right, he may be another room. It doesn't matter. It's you know just, what I mean? Yeah. We just, we just kind of keep it fluid in, in regards to that, depending on what we're doing that day. And, and did you look at that as a, uh, both starting safety jobs are open? Because uh, obviously you've got three veterans with McCain, mm -hmm. Rashad, TJ, Minka obviously could do multiple things. Right. Is that your consideration that both are open right now? Well, all positions are open right, right now. And you know, there's not a safety set. group, there's not a linebacker group, there's not a D line group, it's all positions. And that's one of the good things about our defense that is they're just spots on the field. You know, we can line anywhere. So there's not the traditional uh, thing when you're talking about safety position and linebacker position. It's just we're all competing for positions and, and competing to go out here and, and earn the right to play the next day. Have you been in a, a coaching staff like this before where everything seems to be interchangeable? Uh, not, not to this degree, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's been refreshing. Uh, it's humbling in one way because it forces you to learn um, on the run and learn uh, all different things, but it's, it's refreshing uh, in one aspect, but you, you, you do learn it all and you, you, you're, you develop the ability to, to be able to coach it all. It's all interchangeable, so not to disagree, but it's, uh, I'm excited about it. Does that help you as a your oh, without question. As a coach? Oh, without yeah. question, without question, big time, you know, big time. Just knowing what everyone does. Sometimes you can kind of pigeonhole yourself as a position coach and you kind of focus on your guys and maybe the guys that may fit close to your guys. Mm -hmm. um, but here you know everything, yeah. you know everything. You know stunts, um, run gaps and uh, run fits and the communication with the, between the defensive tackle and the uh, defensive end, all that. So it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been great, it's been great. Do players have to be smarter or study more in this system compared to other coordinators you've been with in your career? Well, I would say uh, to a degree, yes, you know, because you have to be, be able to play multiple positions. But that's one of the things that you look for in, in, in any organization. You want the guys that are problem solvers that can um, make a, a poor decision, a good decision, you know, on the field because we're not out there playing. So they got to be the problem solvers and be able to 
uh, make the changes and adjustments out there. So you're always looking for that. But anytime you ask guys to play multiple roles, you, you want guys to have some kind of uh, uh, intelligence to be able to do that. And most of our guys do. Most of the guys in the NFL can. You know, you just got to be teaching the right way and those kind of those kind of things. So. We've seen 41 Montre flash a little bit out here. What do you see from him, and where does he fit? Well, he's a rookie. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. all rookies they're learning. Yeah. You know, but he's doing a good job. Um, he's he's getting better and better every day. Um, he plays fast. Uh, he's, he's learning how to communicate and those kind of things. And you know, getting lined up has gotten better. So each day is he's getting better. There's alignment, assignment, communication, anticipation, mm -hmm. all those things. You know, each day he's keep keep checking the box. Like the rest of the guys, the other guys are doing well as well.